sometimes people will comment on my channel about free energy and such. And I want to emphasize that there is no free energy here. This is just a motor that works a little differently. It has batteries, it has an mo electric motor, and it has magnets, and the magnets push against the Earth's magnetic field. So in effect, the Earth's magnetic field is the stator. But there is something counterintuitive about it that makes me wonder. Well, in the first place, if you have permanent magnets, they do the same thing as electromagnets do, but without the power, without the electricity. So if you want to pick up paper clips and you use a permanent magnet, that's one way of doing it. But if you use an electromagnet, you have to go to the store and buy a battery to power the electromagnet. So that right there ought to make you wonder. But what I'm going to do now, the whole armature here is pretty easy to turn, weighs about two pounds, just a little under two pounds. And this block here contains the magnets, and this weighs about maybe seven ounces. So to turn this, I have to overcome the inertia of those seven ounces. So I have to apply a torque, or the motor would apply a torque that overcomes the inertia of those seven ounces. And also, because the North Pole doesn't want to turn to point south, or it's south, I have to overcome that slight force. But then when I let it go, the magnets do all the work. The magnets turn the whole two pound armature. So they're actually exerting the same amount of force, but for a longer time. So you might say, well, it's really the same amount of force, but when I turn it, I'm turning it faster. But say I turned it at the exact same speed. Say I turned it 90 degrees like that, let go, and it turned 90 degrees. It's the same amount of magnetism or magnetic force or torque or whatever, and it's much more mass. So even though the magnetic force is the same, it's for a different duration or a different mass. So the magnet is doing the work. So it has to be leveraging the magnet and the Earth's magnetic field. So that's just what I want to say. I think it's kind of paradoxical, but it's kind of like, it's sort of like a switch or um, a transistor or even a simple machine like a, a lever or an inclined plane where you're using the motor or in this case, my fingers to turn the magnets and then the magnets are locked in place and the magnets are turning the much heavier, the much heavier armature. So that's what this video is about. So uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.